Hello everyone, it's Eric back again and uh, featuring some awful tan lines from wearing a baseball cap. I really should learn my lesson. Um, today I've got a different video for you. Uh, you might have noticed a while ago I did a 37 review video which sort of tries to keep to 10 minutes and get rid of the boring bits like unboxing and all that rubbish because uh, no one is interested in that. So I thought I'd carry on with those sort of videos uh, just on the sidelines. So a friend of mine called Alan who runs Model Railway Workshop on Facebook it's a little page, uh, if you give him a search, you should come across it. Um, basically, he takes on the DCC sound and light fitting services that other people don't seem to want to do because they're too much hassle. So things like this, which is a centenary edition Smokey Joe from Hornby. Also here, I've got also his Hornby centenary rocket, which also has lights and sound fitted, but that's for a later date. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look around it and uh, show you the lighting and sound which he can equip your models with. So if anyone was interested in that, I will put a link in the description to his page. Uh, and yeah, it's just a bit of fun really, something a bit different. So stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see how it looks. Cheers. So here it is then, Hornby Centenary Smokey Joe. Here's its certificate of authenticity, number 1020 of 2000 models. So get your hands on them while you can. Uh, you can see it's just an average Smoky Joe with a twist. As discussed, it's got front lights, rear lights. You see here, it also has a firebox flicker. It has a driver and fireman fitted, and also a Zimo sound decoder and a very small stair live just to help stop the lights flickering. So uh, without further ado, we'll get it down on the track, go through some of the functions and show you the lighting working. So here it is then, Smokey Joe. You can hear there, we've got function one enabled, giving us the sound. If I uh, press function three and then function four, we've got a nice couple of whistles. Now onto the lighting. You can see here, we've got a forward facing light on. If I change direction, we've got red for the rear. And the same is uh, again at the other end, as you'd expect. Also with these, you can turn function zero off Press function 12 on, and both lights will illuminate at the same time on either end. This is to uh, give you the impression that it's a shunting locomotive, which I imagine for its size it probably would be used for uh, in a yard or a siding. So that's uh, what they're quite useful for. The other lighting option that we have, if I go to function six, as mentioned, it has a firebox light fitted, which you can see here. Illuminates the cab really nicely. It plays along with the coal shoveling noise. And uh, you can see when the layout is in nighttime mode, it really just comes alive and it, it shines up really nicely. But you can also pick it out quite easily in the daytime. The actual model itself, I'm actually really impressed with. For the price of it, the paint finish is really nice. It's got some nice little details on it. Obviously a couple have been added by Alan himself. But for 40 quid, you can't go wrong with this. And it also, surprisingly, runs very nicely. So if I just set it off forwards, you can see it pull off quite smoothly. And off it goes. Obviously being such a small loco, you've got to make sure your track is very clean because it has such a short wheelbase. But I'm very surprised how smooth it actually runs, to be honest. Obviously something like this size is never going to be perfectly smooth because uh, the motor is so tiny in it and uh, it doesn't have flywheels and all that sort of stuff. But for what it is, it's actually quite impressive. But the uh, sound file on it anyway is a U2's sound file with a Zimo decoder. So if I just run through a couple of little sounds on it. So obviously we would have heard it's got whistles function three and four. Also has another whistle further along in function 18. Quite like that one. Uh, as well as that, it's got guards whistle. 
and it's got a few sort of various blower noises. Uh, there's noises such as steam release, things like that. There's also a function to increase and decrease the volume, which is very handy. But um, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with the sound file. It's um, got active braking also on function two. So if I turn function two off now and set the loco off and forwards. So if I take the power off now, you see it just continues on its way until you then press function two and it will come to a stand. So I don't know what else there is to say really other than I'm actually really impressed. Alan's done an amazing job with this. You can see the lighting looks spectacular. The firebox is amazing. And the sound file and decoder install is obviously something that is very tricky to get right and uh, to do because these aren't DCC ready. So it is a custom job, but um, it's turned out really nice. So I suppose the only thing now to do is give you some running shots. So here we go. sound project developed by you choose and customized for agr models if you'd like to know more or have one installed in your models contact alan at agr so i'm sure you'll agree that is pretty awesome uh, it's something completely out of the norm that i've not seen anyone else attempt on one of these especially with it being such a new model i don't think anyone's actually even dcc'd one let alone put sound in so it's really interesting to see uh, obviously you get what you pay for and it's not cheap to have this work done because it's so tedious and it's very time consuming. Um, I think the rough cost to have sound and all the lights fitted is probably somewhere around 150 pounds. Obviously the model is only 40 pounds initially to buy, but for 190, 200 quid all in, you've got a complete DCC sound and lights steam engine, which actually runs fairly well. So. Uh, the sound file in it is by you choose it is a LSWR Adams B4 you can see it comes with loads of paperwork and how to set the CVs up and all that so you can uh, fine tune it to your needs uh, really impressed with it obviously I normally use ESU in my decoders but there's nothing wrong with Zimmer at all it's just my personal preference and it works great but um, yeah so the next video that I'll probably show uh, other than any hair full updates would be another of Alan's creations, which is Hornby's Centenary Rocket, which has also got lights and sound fit. Um, remember to check out his page, uh, Model Railway Workshop on Facebook. He does all sorts of stuff like Wickham trolleys, obviously a Smokey Joe rocket, all sorts of that sort of kind of stuff that's very fiddly and tedious. Also check out AGR Model Shop where this loco was sourced 
and he has some great deals on locos there so make sure you check that out but thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon